What's going on, Motor City Sports Talk? We in a building. Y'all know what it is, your boy CJ Goodfellow. Gonna talk about Kenny Galladay. And Kenny Galladay has evolved, you know, just going into the second quarter of the season, being week five. Another great performance by Green Bay. He's evolved into the Lions' number one receiver, in my opinion. And I told you guys that he would phase out Golden Tate for at least the number two spot, okay? Uh, Marvin Jones ain't played that good this year. He sounded like he was killing it in camp early on. But he had that injury. I think it was an injury to his knee. He dropped countless balls. I think he dropped the ball in the end zone yesterday. Went between his hands. Galladay, he dropped a couple, you know, uh, this season. But uh, other than that, you know, he been on point, man. Since the Jets game on down, he been on point, okay? And, um, you know, Marvin Jones just been a little bit off this season, man. I think he'd get it together, you know. That knee injury, I think, really, really hampering his ability, man. But um, he had three, he had few chances in the Jets game. And then other other time in the 49er game, uh, Stafford just overthrew him, okay? Um, and I think he's he's hampered by the, by the injury. I think it was a knee injury he suffered in camp. But um, Galladay is just a monster, bro. He's a monster. Um, speed, power. It seemed like he didn't, he didn't work on his frame. He didn't got stronger. He didn't work on his lower body, so he won't have those soft tissue mu- uh, muscle injuries. Um, his hands is strong. He's picking the ball out the air. Uh, defensive backs can't do nothing with him. Um, it ain't like he's sneaking up on people this year, okay? I mean, last year in the Cardinal game, people knew about him. People knew about him a little bit last year. He was injured. He just, you know, worked at his craft. You could just tell he worked at his craft. He got physically stronger. He worked on his route running. Um, and he going to become Stafford New Calvin, okay? Um, I think he's already succeeded both seasons, uh, receivers this year. You know, uh, Golden State had a big game versus Dallas. That ain't no... That wasn't no mystery. He always killed Dallas going back to Seattle. But on a consistent basis, you know, it's, it's, it's Golden Tate. And I know, I mean, it's uh, Kenny Gallagher. I know Golden Tate made some 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 catches from the uh, outside receiver position versus Dallas. But, you know, like I say, people saying, will they bring Golden Tate back? And I understand Ziggy was absent, absent at the game yesterday. Um, if you don't have to bring Ziggy back for the right price, I bring Golden Tate back for sure. You know, but at the end of the day, my biggest gripe with this offense, and I don't want to make it about this, I dedicate a stream or a video to this later, is with Jim Bob Cooter. He not he not utilizing his tight ends. He still don't know how to utilize his backs, and um, you know, it's he's he my biggest problem. Okay, and what I see from the NFL, which I don't want to venture out too much, a lot of offensive coordinators suck in the NFL. Okay. A lot of offensive coordinators suck. The offensive coordinator down in Dallas, he suck. Okay, he was the offensive coordinator here, Scott Linehan. All right, in, in New York, they suck. The Giants, they suck. Okay, it's a lot of offensive coordinators that suck. Julio Jones don't even have a touchdown this year for the Atlanta Falcons, and they got way more weapons than we do. Okay, you know from from uh, Julio to Muhammad Sanu to Calvin really solid offensive line. Tevin Tevin Coleman, Devontae Freeman. I mean, you know, Austin Hooper is a solid tight end. So this ain't this is an epidemic that's going around the NFL. Kickers suck and offensive coordinators suck. All right, well, all the rules are are adverse to help the offense out. Offensive coordinators still struggling. Okay, and um, but Kenny Galladay is helping is bailing Jim Bob Cooter and the Lions out. Trust me, because all them balls that Stafford throwing up to him, those was Calvin Captain save a hole balls that he catching. He be saving Stafford. Stafford rarely throws an accurate pass to Kenny Galladay consistently this season. This is Kenny Galladay making Stafford look good. And let's just keep it a book, all right? He's been more consistent than Jones, more consistent than, than Golden Tate. We explained his own issues, uh, issue, okay? You know, these are the best pick that that um, that uh, Bob Queen had made, okay? He the best pick. We got another video talking about another pick Bob Queen made that's pretty freaking good, okay? But Galladay... Is the Lions number one receiver? It might not have manifested into that yet, as far as other defenses. But you're gonna still see other defenses play Galladay different. Okay, that's gonna open up things for Marvin Jones. Once they figure out that Marvin Jones ain't 100, percent which I've been and figured that out. You know, I think he's really hampered by the knee injury, the way he's moving, and, and all that stuff. Okay, I think he's just hampered by the knee injury. So they gonna start, you know, taking attention off of Marvin Jones, start putting their best guys on Galladay and Tate. They're going to start rolling coverage away from tight ends. They're going to start not respecting theoretic and the backs out the backfield. And they're going to start putting coverage on Tate and Galladay, okay? And it's gonna, they're going to leave it up to 
the running game to beat them. They're going to leave it up to Luke Wilson to beat them. They're going to leave it up to uh, Marvin Jones to beat them. And they freak around and let Marvin Jones get healthy, he going to end up having a big second half of the year. Okay? A huge second half of the year. But right now, Kenny Galladay is the number one threat on this Lions offense, man, other than Matthew Stafford. And I think he's been making Matthew Stafford look good. Okay? Big time. Big time. But um, that's just my opinion. I, I predicted this. You go back in the archives this summer. I told you Kenny Galladay would have a huge jump. I knew he would go and work on his body, put muscle on his frame, work on his route running. And that's what he did. And he could be a lot better with a better offensive coordinator. But like I said before, it's an epidemic. Kickers suck in the NFL and offensive coordinators. So I can just look at a lot of NFL games and tell you that these offensive coordinators are are, are, are atrocious, man. Atrocious, man. But Motor City Sports Talk, don't forget, we on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Also, if you want to make a donation, the PayPal link is there. Shout out to the brother Kenny G for holding it down for the Lions this year, making number nine look better than what he's appeared to be, in my opinion. And uh, make sure you share the videos, man. We're going to start them social media pages back up. Been a little bit behind the eight ball a little bit, man. But I definitely appreciate it. Shout out to everybody that support us. And um, we're going to continue to hold it down in the way that we always hold it down for the city of Detroit, Lions, Pistons, and the rest of the teams. Y'all know what it is. We gone.